You want to invoke God blessing upon your life? We are not seeking to be leaders. We are not preaching gospel of prosperity. Let's bring the unit over the past four months of communication. You see, when you start preaching prosperity, when you you uh right now get to preach prosperity is just a fruit. Right now we're preaching one of the fruits of God's blessing. So when you invoke this blessing of God, so you get to say that it's upon your life. That it's a given here. You know what? You will not only be prosperous. You will not have the prosperity of fools that destroy them. We are grateful for the privilege God has given us to be in His presence. U, we zijn dankbaar uh, voor de grote voorrecht die God ons heeft gegeven is, om in zijn aanwezigheid te this zijn. Is the day the Lord has made. Dit is de dag dat de Heer heeft gemaakt. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We zullen verheugen en blij zijn in deze dag. And as you are there joining us for the first service. En als u daar bent en de, u, kom, u bent hier voor de eerste dienst. I want you to rejoice in the Lord today with us. En ik wil dat u verheugt in de Heer vandaag met ons. Because God is here to bless us abundantly. Want de Heer is hier om ons uh, overvloedig te zegenen. And we shall go from glory to glory even as we appear in His presence. En we zullen gaan van glorie tot glorie als wij um, uh, voorschijnen in zijn aanwezigheid. This morning we shall be taking a word of exhortation from the book of Hebrew chapter 11. Vandaag gaan we lezen vanuit Hebreeën op stuk 11. And verse uh, 27. Vers 27. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he has seen him who is invisible. Um, door het geloof heeft hij Egypte verlaten, zonder bevreesd te zijn voor de toren van de koning, want hij bleef standvastig als zag hij de onzichtbare. That is talking about Moses. Dus daar spreekt hij over Moses. He forsook Egypt. Hij verliet Egypte. Not fearing the wrath of the king. Um, zonder bevreesd te zijn voor de toren. Why? Waarom? Because he sees him who is invisible. Omdat hij hem zag die onzichtbaar is. He sees the invisible God. Hij zag de onzichtbare God. How is it that you can see the invisible God? Hoe is het dat u de onzichtbare God kan zien? You can see the invisible through your eyes of faith. U kan de onzichtbare zien door uw ogen van geloof. When you look at this Hebrew chapter 11. Wanneer u kijkt naar Hebreeën stuk 11. We read about men that took steps of faith because they saw the invisible. Daar lezen wij over Man die stappen van geloof uh, hebben genomen omdat zij het onzichtbare you konden too zien. Can see the invisible. U kan ook het onzichtbare zien. I see the invisible. Ik zie het onzichtbare. As I wake up every morning. Als ik elke dag wakker word. With joy in my heart. Met vreugde in mijn hart. Believing that he's going before me straightening out the crooked places. Het geloven dat de Heer voor mij gaat en dat I hij alles ten goede brengt. I see the invisible. Ik zie het onzichtbare. As I trust him daily. Als ik hem dagelijks betrouw. To accomplish all that concerns me. That he a kracht heeft om alles die met mij betrekken is. I see the invisible. Ik zie het onzichtbare. Because I know. Omdat ik weet. That he is my shepherd. Dat hij mijn herder. I shall not want. En dat ik ik niet dat ik er mij niet zal ontbreken. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. En al wandel ik doorheen de de moeilijke plaatsen. I fear no evil. Zal ik van geen vrees komen. Because I see the invisible. Omdat ik het onzichtbare. You too can see the invisible. You can look at unseen. With your eyes of faith. With the eyes of faith. Because I see the invisible. Omdat van het feit dat ik het onzichtbaar zie. I don't fear tomorrow. Dan ben ik niet bang van morgen. I don't fear tomorrow. Dan ben ik niet bang van morgen. Because I see the invisible. Omdat ik het onzichtbaar zie. And the invisible is holding my hand. En dat onzichtbare houdt mijn hand. So can I can walk faithfully. Dus ik kan wandelen met volgeloop. With Him. Met Hem. Because I see Him. Omdat ik hem zie. With my eyes of faith. Met mijn ogen van geloof. I see the invisible. Ik zie het onzichtbare. You too can see the invisible. U kan ook het onzichtbare zien. Don't fear what the world is fearing. Wees niet bang van wat de wereld Don't panic when the world is panicking. Wees niet in paniek. Because you see the invisible. Omdat u het onzichtbare ziet. If you choose to walk in this word of God this morning. Als u kiest om te wandelen in deze woord van God deze morgen. Peace will be 
Yes. Vredes are on you, like Peace will be in your home. Vredes are in you, Peace right will be in your family. Vredes are in you, family. You will live in the peace of God constantly. Is a constant in the vredes of God. Because you can see the invisible. And that you are on zig bar. And when you walk in the con, when you are conscious of this word of God. And when you be blessed by this word of God. You are pleasing Him. That makes you hot and hot. Because He said in His word. But He said in His word. Without faith. So the clue. It is impossible to please the Lord. Is it almost? And when you are walking in faith, when you see the invisible with your eyes of faith, when you trust in his word, when you believe in his word, you are walking in that faith that God expects you to. And you are pleasing him. And when you are pleasing the master, you step in. He will step in and he will take control of all that concerns you. So this morning, what is the word of God to us? See the invisible. See the invisible. With the eyes of your faith. Let joy flood your heart. Because you know he who holds your hand. He who holds your hand. But he will never fall. He will never fail. He will never disappoint you. He is the God that never fails. He is the God that never disappoints. So let's trust him. And see the invisible. With the eyes of our faith. Wherever you are this morning. I want you to lift up your hand. And appreciate him for this word. And thank him for this word. And see the invisible in the eyes of your faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for rewards. For the men of faith. We thank you for the saw the invisible. And they were rewarded. As they were the below. As we hear this, your word this morning. We receive the grace to see the invisible and to walk in. And of the one that I faith pleases you. Of that hope you have. We receive your grace. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter one from verse twenty-seven. Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. It reads, and I quote: "Then so God created man in His own image." In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the water. Can you read it? And God schiep de mens naar zijn beeld, naar het beeld van God schiep hij hem. Mannelijk en vrouwelijk schiep hij hem. En God zegende hem, en God zei tegen hem, Wees vruchtbaar, word taarlijk, vervul de aarde en onderwerp haar. En heers over de vissen van de zee, over de vogels in de lucht en over al de dieren die over de aarde kruipen. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we bow our head for prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you thanks and praises. For all that you have done in our life. For all that you have done in our life. Thank you, Father, for every good thing that we have received from you. Thank you, Lord, for every good thing you have received from you. Thank you, Father, for all the benefits you daily loaded us with. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things that you have made you on this daily schedule. We we say without exalted, O Lord. We say we spoke for Him, O Him. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We ask the Father in the name of Jesus. We pray the Father. 
that you will speak to our heart this morning as we look into your word Father help us to see what you are saying in Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen. this morning by the grace of God I am speaking from the book of Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 and I'm just going to read verse 27 and 28 the scripture said God blessed I mean God created man in his own image the scripture said he made them to be male and female and then he said God bless them God said to them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this morning, by the grace of God, I'm speaking on the topic that I call the gospel of, of the blessing. The gospel of the blessing. I am I did not say the gospel of blessing. But I said the gospel of the blessing. So when I say the gospel of the blessing, I am talking about a particular thing. And what am I talking about? I am talking about the blessing. That God bless man with. That when we got the message to Zegens. When he made them, the blessing that God pronounced upon man, the Bible said he made them to be male and female, and he blessed them. He said to them, Be fruitful. Can you just say, Be fruitful? Then secondly, he said to them, multiply um, and um, restore it and replenish the heads and, and subdue it and, and have dominion and, uh, he have his number one number eight, God said be fruitful God said, be fruit back. number two number three, God said to them God said to them, multiply restore number, three, number three he said to them said to replenish them, the earth fill the earth number four number three, he said to them said to ten, subdue the head and then number five and number he three, said to them, have dominion, have dominion, hallelujah, 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 you see, we will continue to preach the blessing, I mean the gospel of the blessing, by the grace of God, till Christ Jesus we appear. So that Jesus Christ shall come. The Christ we come. So that Jesus Christ shall come. You see, last Sunday by the grace of God. We talk about the gospel of the kingdom. And we spoke over the gospel of the coming Christ. And we call the topic. And we have the underwear to lose. The matter of the kingdom. Um, the 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 zaken betreffend the coming Christ. The matters of the kingdom. The zaken betreffend the coming Christ. And we say Jesus Christ. And we say that Jesus Christ. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. In fact, God sent him to bring the gospel of the kingdom to men and women. And we said in the Bible, the same word that was translated in Hebrew word to be kingdom. That same word was also translated to mean in other words, there will never be a kingdom without a king. And there will never be a king without dominion. If there is a kingdom without a king, then there will be a problem. And if there is a king, 
Spirit, without dominion, without authority, there will also be problems. And the scripture says, Christ made us to be a king and a priest unto our God. He is the king of kings. Is he talking about the king of the earth alone? Who did not know God? Is first talking about the children of God. Is talking about I and you. Then is talking about everyone. And is over that God made. That God, I mean, place the blessing. The blessing. Five blessings. He blessed it upon them. Five is number of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the first blessing? God said to them, Be fruitful. What is the second blessing? He said to them, Multiply. What? What is the third blessing? He said to them, Replenish the head. What is the fourth blessing? He said to them, subdue the hands. What is the fifth blessing? God asked them to have dominion. That is the position where you will find yourself and you will be a king on the earth. Everything that God created, the lesser creature, I'm not talking about woman being now. They must listen to you. They must listen to you. They must hear you. In fact, what God said to you is that you should be fruitful. The blessing of God. The blessings of God. Be fruitful. What does it mean to be fruitful? To be fruitful, to be fruitful means to, give, to bring forth your kind. Bring forth your kind. It also means to bring forth what is inside of you. What is inside of you? To be fruitful. Be fruitful. He didn't say be barren. The blessing of God will make you to be fruitful. I'm not talking about the gospel of blessing. I'm talking about the gospel of the, I mean, of the blessing. Gospel of the blessing. I am talking about in particular the blessing that God placed upon I and you in the day that he made us. You have to see this in your life. You have to see this in your life. Especially if you are a child of God. You are not expected to be barren. So God said, be fruitful. This has nothing, I mean, it, 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 it has not to do only with adding biological children. This also has to do with adding children in the law. Souls that you have brought into Christ. It also has something to do with you bringing out the ability. There is something that is unique. That God has, I mean, that God has deposited inside of you. You that is listening to me. You are unique. Look at my tongue. It will never be like the tongue of any other person. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I show my uniqueness. There is something in you that you have to bring forth. You must bring forth. The result is the result of the blessing that God commanded upon you. And that is what 
the word of God come. And that is the thing that is worth our cause. Fruitfulness. Bring back her. It's not only. And it's it's not only. Having five children or ten children. It's a good way of thinking that it's ever. It is mostly about. It's a good way. Bringing forth your kind. It's a good way on your end. What is inside of you? And tell you that in you is. And when you bring them forth. And when you bring forth, bring. There is also another blessing upon you. And spoken of the sort zigzagging of you. And the. And that is 
why and that role, you will see many people who do not even believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. That Jesus Christ is but because they were made in the image of God, there are many things that they discover that is helping, I mean, the whole earth today. But you know the, the, the difference. If you are not a Christian, after some time, they will abuse it. They will, they will pollute it. They will use it in another way. So, the blessing that God placed upon you for fruitfulness, that same blessing will bring about a, I mean, multiplication. So, that same blessing, you will replenish the head. Not the fourth one. He says, subdue the head. Subdue the head. Subdue the head. You see, Christians are chic. I mean, they are they have uh they have become so lazy. Christians are so uh uh in this end time. I mean, in this generation, many Christians are no longer you know going into the world of science and true science that is what many unbelievers they want to subdue the head they want to bring everybody under control you know why? because people who know the Lord you will not find many of them in the in the class, I mean in the science class. In the in the uh, in the terms of They will they are no longer so doing research. So they need to be looking it. into what can be done. So they can take it to what to to solve what many it. problems that are in the world. Then when the ungodly discover it, when they discover it, they will use it to subdue the head, not only the head, to subdue the world, not only the, not only, I mean, the system of the world. You know, when we say the world, we are talking about the system that go, I mean, that govern the activities of men. On earth, if they use it to subdue the world, in the long, in the long run, as a child, as a child of God, you too will be subdued. <laughs> you will be brought under. Hallelujah. So why are we talking about the blessing? We are. We want to bring us back. To the beginning. You know, let's go back to the book of beginning. Genesis is the book of the beginning. Is the one that talk about the blessing. The blessing of fruitfulness. The blessing of multiplication. The blessing of replenish the head. The blessing that will enable you. To subdue the heads. On the earth to fulfill and on the earth to And you know the fifth one. The blessing of, of, of dominion. Like I told you last Sunday. God wants you to have dominion. He did not want everything on earth. To lord over you. God did not want you to find yourself. In the place. Where situation will be your master. <laughs> and then you will say something. And then, you know, there's something they say in Africa. They will say it is situation. They call it condition. They will say it is condition that made crayfish <laughs> so bent. You know why? What is that condition? Fire. Fear. The, somebody is referring to himself. He's talking about himself. And he's saying it is situation that makes his life to bend. Like that of crayfish. If 
situation can make a fish to bend. As a If as a result that of the fact that they, they, they put a fish in the fire. As a result of the fact that they put a and as a as a um, Als het daar nou een vuur uh, zet en het gaat buigen. En die and the, and the, and the crevice bent. En die gaat nou gaat buigen. You as a child of God. Je als een kind van God. If you are sent into the fire. Als je in de vuur gezet wordt. Ah, you should still stand strong. Dan wordt je nog steeds te staan. You should still stand erect. Je wordt nog steeds te You will staan. not bend. Je zal niet bend. Just when I'm talking about bending. Weet, weet je wanneer ik spreek over het bend? In een man. In een man. I'm not talking about physical bending. Ik spreek niet over een fysieke bend. That happened to people. Die gebeurt. As a result of old age. The result of an old age. I'm talking uh, about the bending. I speak over the bending of the mind. When the kids, when the children, when you find yourself, when you yourself bend in a position, in a position, when you supposed to say this is my right. When you you say this is my right. This is how things should be. This is what they ought to say. And you cannot speak for yourself. And you can't speak for yourself. You cannot, you cannot defend yourself. You can't speak for yourself. You cannot, you cannot say over. this is how it should be. You can't say it's so hard to say. And other people, and other masses, they will now, you know, lord themselves over your life. They will, uh, it's a pain in the name of your life. They will now boss over, I mean, be your boss. They will then boss and over. They will now be your ruler. They will then you hate the world. Telling you what you should do. They will tell you what you should do. Even when that thing is contrary to the will of God. They will tell you that thing is not over against God's word. Even when that thing is contrary to your own will. They will tell you that thing is not over against your own will. God did not give it to any man. To exercise dominion on People will say they want to do this. And you want to tell them that is not the right thing. And you will tell them that that that's not just here. It is not right. You want to point them to the right thing. As you end up leading in the right direction. It has to be according to the constitution. Then you have to go over the constitution of the website. That the same people agree to be governed by. The one who the people have agreed to be governed by. It must not be according to decree. It must not be according to decree. You are not supposed to make a decree. You have no right to make a decree over another man. Over another man. You are not supposed to be a ruler. You have no right to be a ruler. Over another man. Over another man. If you have a legitimate authority, if you have a legal authority, and you want to make people, and you will not make them to change their mind about about certain things. That they in the same sense will come to wonder over the past. As a leader with legitimate authority, as a leader with a legal authority, you will point to the constitution. That's how you then you reach to that place, or you will take your time, or you shall take them to explain to them why what you are saying should be so. Why am I saying that you say so? And that is why I said. And that I'm saying. If you are a ruler in your house, as you need to be in your house, you are a beast. That means you're a beast. Yes. Do you do you know the reason why there is gender problem all over the world? Because why am I problem is with betrekking tot geslacht in de wereld. Why men are fighting, you know, over the gender of a woman? Why am I man aan het vechten zijn over de geslacht van een vrouw? And they are talking about women should be under. En zij zeggen dat een vrouw onder onder hoort te zijn. And some people are saying man and woman they are equal. En sommige mensen zeggen man en vrouw moet gelijk zijn. Gender equality. If men and women all over the world, as man and woman all over the world, if they understand the book of Genesis, as the book of Genesis be grieved. If you understand this dominion, as you did this chapter be grieved, that God gave to man, the God that man gave to man, you will also know that your wife has the same dominion. That your wife has the same dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but you are the leader. But you are the leader. As a leader, as a leader, you did not. I mean rulership. Et tu gênes les chapeaux. Over your woman. Over your vrouw. Over any woman on earth. Over all in the vrouw op aarde. If you, if a, if a particular woman marry you. Als een bepaalde vrouw met je vrouw. What you have. 
Hetgene dat u hebt. Over the fears of that woman. Over de zaak van die vrouw. Is legitimate authority. Is een legale autoriteit. Because you are the leader. Want u bent de leider. And as a leader. En als een leider. You will listen to that woman. Dan u luisteren naar die vrouw. Leader listen. Leiders leiders luisteren. And I said last Sunday. Ik had vorige zondag al gezegd. Authority is meant to serve. Autoriteit is om te dienen. It's not meant to subdue another woman. Het is niet om hij chapeau te uit te uit te voeren over een andere man. Upon you. To subdue. Um, the, um, is, um, is not meant to subdue another man. It is meant to subdue circumstances. It is meant to subdue circumstances. It is meant to subdue situations. It is meant to subdue situations. To subdue spiritual forces. It is meant to subdue spiritual forces. That will like to walk against the plan of God for your life. So what are we talking about? The Bible said he made them to be male and female and God blessed them. The Bible did not say he blessed him. He blessed both him and her. That is what the Bible meant when he said he blessed them. So both of this man as man has Upon the head, so also women have dominion on the earth. And you know what? In the long run, if you are a man, as you are a man, over a woman, as you over a woman, there is no decision that you will take without the involvement of your wife. Because that woman. A will. You don't have power you have to exercise authority over the will of another person. The will of another person. When you are doing that, that do it, it is witchcraft. It is, uh, um, he, uh, and it is because you are a beast. So how do you get people to what you thought that is the best? So what you think that the best is? It is either you talk, you point them to the constitution. Of well, that you the 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 Western as a leader, as a leader, or you point them to the Bible. Of you you don't in the Bible. If it is in a Christian or as it is in a Christian, and you explain to them. Why it has to be so? And the woman must now think in the same way along with you. That woman must be able to see what you are talking about. You don't just enforce that thing on that woman. Men of God that are mature. When God speaks to them, and they know they have a woman that we ask them. Stephen, why are you asking us to do this? If they know they have a woman that will question them, you know what they do? They will also ask God. God, talk to my wife as well. Hallelujah. They will ask God. God, talk to my wife as well. If that happened two, three occasions, as that two, three times happened, and God always talked to that woman. And God spoke to that woman. This time, when you tell your wife, when you tell your wife, this is what the Lord says. This is what the Lord says. This is what we are going to do. This is what we are going to do. That woman will see a leadership in you. The wife will have leadership in you. That woman will not ask you question again. The wife will not ask you question again. Because she knows that you are leading her. That you are on the right path. To the best. Place. She knows that you understood what you are talking about. By the grace of God, to the glory of our Lord Jesus. If I tell my wife today, God said, we should go into the pit and live there. That's why in an in an older to 
under the cross with her leaves. She will not tell me no. You know when I say peace, you know how impossible it look like for a man to go and live inside the hole. She will not make argument with me. Why? Over the time. She has seen the way this man says something. He knows what he's talking about. As a man, you ought to be a priest in your house. I think you are a priest. You need to be so close to God that you are also hearing God. Every man should hear God. It may not be like it may not be in a spectacular way. Like that of a prophet. But you know what? You must know how God leads you. You must know how God speaks to you. You must I mean you must be able to discern the leading of God. Know that every time as a man you need to go that you would can to another prophet to a prophet to know the mind of God in the past in the in the old testament it was like that was it so when people are confused and you can only get to the state of confusion and you can only to the start from if you have not been following God correctly if you have been following God correctly you will not be confused so so what are we talking about in the New Testament, this New Testament, we have the spirits of God in us, and the Holy Spirit is the kingdom power. The word of God said, as many that are led by the Holy Spirit, they are the sons of God. So, as a man, you too, you should know the leading of God. If your wife understands As you the friend, that you are so close to God, that you, so by God you study the word of God all the time, all the word from God today. you know the, I mean, the mind of God, that the of God can. your wife will listen to you. So, it is, do you know the reason why men all over the world, <laughs> why they are fighting to subdue a woman, is because they don't know who you are. It's because of sense of insecurity. If you don't have sense of insecurity, if you know who you are, you will never try to subdue that woman. If you subdue your woman, you will suffer it. Because your wife will become a zombie. <laughs> Even when you are not around, she can't take decisions. She did not know the right thing to do. Everything I must wait for my husband to come. I must wait for my husband to come. You know why? Because you have trained her to be a zombie. You have subdued her. It is not right. You should bring that woman to where you are. She should sit with you on the same level in your kingdom as a king in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 So what are we talking about? We are talking about the gospel of the blessing. God blessed them. He said to them, be fruitful. He said to them, multiply. He said to them, be plenty the earth. He said to them, subdue the earth. He said to them, This is the gospel of the blessing. This is the gospel of the blessing. I am telling you, when 
you receive this gospel of the blessing, oh, you will be, you will, you, life will be so smooth for you. If things are difficult now, they will change. You know why? Because you are not going to give up. You will not allow circumstances and situations to subdue you. You, you. you have seen the blessing of God. This morning, you need to invoke the blessing of God. You need to invoke the blessing of God upon your life. How do we invoke this blessing? How do we invoke the blessing of God? I'm going to read from the book of Psalm 128. Psalm 128. Psalm 128. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. The scripture says, Blessed is everyone that fear the Lord, that walk in his way. For thou shalt eat the labor of the hand. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of your house. Thy children like only plants round about your table. Behold, that doth shall be the man be blessed that fear the Lord. Verse 5. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the day of your life. Thou shalt see your children's children and peace upon Israel. Another word for it, and peace upon your land. Can you read it? Wel zalig is een ieder die de Heer feest, die zijn leven krijgt. Want u zult eten van de inspanning van uw handen. Thank you, Wel zalig zult u zijn en het zal u goed gaan. Uw vrouw zal zijn als een vruchtbare wijnstok binnen in uw huis. Uw kinderen zullen Thank zijn als jonge olijfbomen rondom uw tafel. Zie, you, zo zal zeker de man gezegend worden die de Heer vreest. De Heer zal u zegenen van uit Sion. U zult het goede van Jeruzalem zien. Al de dagen van uw leven. U zult de kinderen van uw kinderen zien. Vrede over Israël. De scripture zegt. De geschriften zeggen. Blessed is everyone. Wel zalig is in ieder. That fear the law. Die de Heer vreest. That walk in his way. Die zijn wegen gaat. You want to be blessed. U wilt gezegend worden. You want to invoke this blessing upon your life. U wilt deze zegening op uw leven hebben. You need to fear the law. You need to fear the Lord. I am going to lift Psalm 128 now. And I will go to the next place. You see, when you fear the Lord, what are you going to do? According to Mark, chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible said, Jesus Christ began to preach the gospel of the kingdom. And he said to people, and I said to the answer, repent. I say, uh, uh, you. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. So for you, just for you, to demonstrate the fear of the Lord. You need to obey the word of God. We need to obey the word of God. Hallelujah. What is the word of God that we need to obey first? Repentance. The Bible said for every, said for all men have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God. So for you to come Christ this morning. If you are hearing the voice of the word of God, you want to invoke God's blessing upon your life. We are not preaching gospel of prosperity. We are not preaching gospel of prosperity. 
uh, overvloedigheid. What we are preaching. Hetgene dat wij aan het We are preaching zijn. the gospel of blessing. Wij spreken de gospel van de zegen. And the way to it. En de, de, de weg ernaar. The fear of the Lord. De vrees van de Heer. To walk in the will of, of the Lord. Om te wandelen in de weg van de Heer. Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ said. I am the way. Ik ben de weg. The truth. De waarheid. And the life. En het leven. So to walk in the will of the Lord. Dus om te wandelen in de weg van de Heer. Means to walk in Christ Jesus. Dat betekent dat u in Jezus Christus gaat wandelen. And to get to the position. En om tot de positie te komen. Where you will be able to walk in the way of the Lord. Waar u in de weg van de Heer gaat kunnen wandelen. When God's ideas will become your idea. Wanneer de ideeën van God uw ideeën gaan worden. When God's way of thinking will become your way of thinking. Wanneer de manier van denken uw eigen manier van denken gaat worden. When God's way of doing things will become your way of doing. Wanneer de manier van hoe God denkt en de manier waarop God uh, dingen doet, ook uw manier zal zijn waarop u denkt en de manier zal zijn waarop u dingen doet. For you to get to the position. Dus om tot de positie te komen. Where you no longer oppress your wife. Waar uw vrouw niet meer uh, seks zal behandelen. Or oppress a female person working at your place of work. Of een uh, vrouw een vrouwelijke figuur zal um, uh, seks behandelen die bij uw werkplaats. Or oppress your classmates. Of u uh, klasgenoten zal uh, seks behandelen. Die er moet first be repentance. Er moet eerst bekering zijn. Repentance means. Uh, de bekering is. Review. Um, when you review your way of doing things and you saw it in the light and you, you place it by the word of God and you saw that it is wrong and then you say God forgive me there will be remorsefulness and you say God this is what I have been doing I have been oppressing my wife to the point of even killing your talent and giving her tot het punt dat jij de, de talenten en de, en de gaven in, in haar, in die God aan haar heeft gegeven aan het dode bent. If some women cancel you, als sommige mensen je advies geven, it's like you, the God of heaven give you a cancel. Het is net zoals uh, God, uh, de God van de hemel een bepaalde advies geeft. They are so gifted. Ze zijn zo uh, getalenteerd. To give positive counsel. Om positieve adviezen te geven. That will bring results. Die goede resultaten zullen brengen. But because you have seen it. Maar omdat u het hebt gezien. Over the time. Met de tijd. When you say something, and that woman allow you to do it, it always fail. But when that woman says, my husband, let's go this way, it always come positive. Then you call that woman a witch. You call that woman another name. You say she's a stubborn woman. You 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 call her all kind of names. By listening to her, by first through and first, firstly by making her to understand that she need to submit herself according to the word of the Lord. Many people don't even know the meaning of submission. Uh, Many men that are asking women to submit, they do not know the meaning of submission. They thought when a woman submits herself to them, it means they will become, you know, they will become a ruler over that woman. That is not it. When you become a ruler over your woman, over your house, over your, house your children cannot ask you, Dad, why did you ask us to do this? They are not challenging you. And you don't say to those children, do what I said, do what I said. Do what I said, do what I said. I want to tell you this morning, many times my children have come up with good ideas. That is better than mine. If I am a ruler, I will not listen to them. I will keep saying it. 
You are a beast. If you make yourself a ruler over your home, so you have to repent. That is the first thing. Blessed is everyone that fear the Lord. The fear of God will make you to repent this morning. You will not fight the messenger that God sent to bring message to you this morning. You will appreciate God who sent me as his messenger to you. And you will appreciate the message. What is the message? The gospel of the blessing. We are not talking about any other thing. We are talking about what God gave them in the beginning for you to invoke it to bring it upon your own life there must first be repentant so that you can you so that you can come to the I mean you can become one with Christ the way the truth and the life he began to preach the gospel of the kingdom and he said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. When you fear the Lord, you know you are different from any other people in the world who are prosperous. You see, the blessing of God go beyond all this prosperity of the fool. That people are talking about. What is the prosperity of the fool? Turn the Bible with me to the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. Open the Bible, let's pray for us. If you tell the man, if you tell the man who is beating his wife every day that it will be prosperous, all he just need to do <laughs> bring money for us to do the work of God. God will reject the, the man. He will reject his gifts. In the long run, even when he becomes prosperous, that prosperity will destroy him. Proverbs chapter 1. I'm looking at verse 32. The scripture says, in the, let's take it from verse 31. It says, Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the, of the simple. When the Bible calls you a simple, it's calling you a fool. When you, you know, it's a, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zij zullen van de vreugde van hun weg eten en verzadigd worden Thank van hun Jesus. eigen opvattingen. Want de afvalligheid van de on onverstandigen um, zal hen doden. Dus met onverstandigen bedoelen wij dwazen. En de zorgeloze rust, maar in het uh, King James uh, staat er de um, overvloedigheid uh, van de dwazen zal hem om ombrengen. De prosperity of the fool. The van de shall de destroy de, them. The, um, the van de see, when people talk about prosperity, when they say, oh, we are preaching the gospel of prosperity, Jesus, that is not what Jesus preached. Jesus Christ preached the gospel of the blessing. Let's turn our Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. Christ preached the gospel of blessing. Jesus Christ is preaching to the gospel of blessing. Matthew chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 3. He said, Blessed are the poor in, in, I mean, in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. Er staat zalig zijn de armen van geest, want van hen is het koninkrijk der hemelen. Zalig zijn zij die treuren, want zij zullen vertroost worden. Zalig zijn de zachtmoedigen, want zij zullen de aarde beërven. The gospel that Jesus preached. The gospel that Jesus Christ has preached. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. Jesus Christ has preached the gospel of the kingdom. What is gospel? And what is gospel? 
the literal meaning, I mean, the literary meaning of gospel. The letter of the is a gospel. Gospel means good tidings. Gospel is taking to good news. Gospel means good news. Gospel is taking to good news. So what is the good news? And what is the good news? The gospel that Jesus preached. The gospel that Jesus preached. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. He preached to the gospel of the kingdom. So that dominion can be restored to man. So that the escapade to the man is on earth. On earth. What kind of man? The welcome sort of man. Man that has become the sons of God. And man is the the son of God. And for that reason, and for this reason, Jesus Christ has to become the son of man. Jesus Christ is the son of man. So that the son of man can become the sons of God. So that the Zohar and men and Zohar God can come there. Give them power. Jesus Christ is having craft. As many that believe the gospel of the kingdom. Believe the gospel of the kingdom. He gave them power. Having craft to become the sons of God. So Zohar God to work there. And then he went on. And I can verse in Matthew chapter five. Matthew so six. He preached the gospel of blessing. He preached to the gospel of the same. Not gospel of prosperity. The gospel of um. Van de over uh, van de rijkdom. You see, when you start preaching prosperity, wanneer u uh, uh, rijkdom begint te preken, prosperity is just a fruit. Uh, rijkdom is maar een vrucht. One of the fruits. Dat is eenmaal een van de vruchten. Of God's blessing. Van God's zegening. How do I know? Hoe weet ik dit? Prosperity. Uh, is just one of the fruits it is alleen maar een van de of God's blessing. Van God's when you have true prosperity you are over that, come, that comes die komt to you from God, u van God the beginning of it het van, the source of it de bron ervan, is the fear of God is het van de Heer, and repentance. En de the beginning of true prosperity, which is just very small, among what the blessing of God will do in your life. The, I mean, the, the, the beginning of that true prosperity is the blessing of God that come upon your life. As a result of the fear of God, as a result of walking in the way of God, not as a result of giving billions of naira in the church. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How do I know? We are still coming back to Matthew chapter five. Look at Psalm. I mean Psalm. Psalm one. The scripture says, Blessed is the man, not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the will of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the law, and his law in the law of God doth he meditate day and night. He shall be, hallelujah, like a, like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring Fought his fruit in the season, you can see fruitfulness. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Can you see the true prosperity? Hallelujah. Can you read it? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Wat hij zal zijn als een boom geplant aan de waterbeken, die zijn vrucht geeft op zijn tijd, waarvan het blad niet afvalt. Thank you, Father. Al wat hij doet zal goed gelukken. This is the gospel of blessing. Dit is de gospel van zegening. The genuine gospel. The waarachtige gospel. Of the blessing. Van de zegening. That you know that was preached. Die gepredikt werd. Through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Door de inspiratie van de Heilige Geest. Via King David, uh, via, uh, David, from the word of the Lord, the word he said, Blessed is the man, said, is the man that walk in the counsel of the Lord. The in the the so Lord. when you just saw in the Bible, where we John the Beloved said, I wish you above all things, that thou mayest prosper. <laughs> And be in hell. Even as your soul prospers. It is a wish. It is a wish. It is a wish. 
John the Beloved. Johannes de Geliefde. Only mentioned. Heeft alleen gezegd. I mean the, the, the nucleus, the, the smallest part the of what the blessing of God can bring upon your life. He said, I am wishing. But many people did not know that there is a condition. The condition that you will have true prosperity is that you will invoke the blessing of God upon your life. The, the blessing that God made available for you in the beginning. The way you can invoke it upon your life is true repentance. True repentance by believing the gospel of the kingdom. Then you repent of your sin. Then you become the sons of God. Jesus will give you power to become the sons of God. And then according to someone, you will delight in the law of the Lord. You will meditate in the law of God. Day and night. The Bible says you will be like the river of water that bring forth his fruits in this season. Your leaf will not wither. When he's talking about your leaf, he's talking about your children. The children of the righteous. They will be strong upon the head. They will not wither. This is the fruit of tree. He said, your fruit shall not wither. Whatsoever you do, we prosper. Why? Because you invoke the blessing of God upon your life through the way of God. Jesus Christ is the will of God. Because you invoke the blessing of God upon your life through the law of God, the word of God, the truth. Jesus is the truth. Every word spoken by him is the truth. So when you invoke this blessing of God upon your life, you know what? You will not only be prosperous. You will not have the prosperity of fools that destroy them. They said they are the richest man on earth. Their prosperity is the prosperity of the fool. Because they are using it against the counsel of God. They want to use it to dominate other people, to control other people against their wishes without legitimate authority. The prosperity of the fool will bring the wickedness that is inside of them. But Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 gospel of the blessing preached by Jesus Christ not gospel of prosperity. Jesus said Jesus Christ preached blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. You know one thing about the meek? They will seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. They will believe God. The word of God says, the secret of the Lord and with the people that are meek. God will show his secret to the people that are me. What shall we claim to one another? Men that is not moody. Jesus said. Jesus Christ said. The meek. The zeal. The zeal. The moody. Eric the heads. 
What is he talking about? They will have dominion over the earth. They will have dominion over everything God created. Apart from human being like themselves, they will not even seek to be a Lord over another person. And the psalmist said, let's look at finally, let's look at the, you know, the result of God's blessing. Bless is everyone, Psalm 128. Psalm 128. That fear the Lord, that walk in his way, for thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy shall thou be, it shall be well with you. Can you read it? Wel zalig is in ieder die de Heere vreest, die zijn wegen gaat, want u zult eten van de inspanning van uw handen. Wel zalig zult u zijn en het zal u goed gaan. In the, in the, in the word of the law, in het woord van de Heer, God said, say unto the righteous, de Heer zei, uh, zeg tot de rechtvaardigen, it shall be well with them. Dat het wel, wel zalig zijn, so, zal zijn met u. So you. we are talking about the blessing, dus wij spreken over de zegening, that we bring fruitfulness, die vruchtbaarheid zal brengen, God's blessing, God's zegening, we bring Multiplication. God bless you. We enable you to replenish the earth. Then number four, through God's blessing, you will subdue your earth. You will subdue situation. You will subdue power of darkness. You will subdue principality of darkness. Because you have accepted Jesus Christ. Jesus has given you the power to become the Son of God and gave you authority over all the power of darkness. Hallelujah! God's blessing We eventually give you dominion in your own world. Your life is not being tossed in tow and fro by wind and storm that are in the world. There will be establishment. You will be established. And verse 3, the scripture says, His wife shall be like a fruitful vine. By the side of your house, your children like holy plants, round about your table. Verse 4. Behold, that doth shall be the man be blessed that fear the Lord. Verse 5. The Lord shall bless you continually out of Zion. And thou shalt see good of Jerusalem. When he's talking about Jerusalem, he's talking about the temple. The temple of God, which you have, you will see the good of the church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ. All the days of your life, yea, thou shalt see your children, children. A man that is blessed by God, they will see their children, children to the fourth generation. And that is why I said, if Christ time is coming, I'm not yet, to, I'm not going now. I'm going to see my children, children to the fourth generation. Hallelujah. Amen. It will see children, children. And peace upon Israel. Peace upon your nation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Can you just read from verse 1 to the end? Then we will pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Israel. Israel. Over your nation. Uh, over your nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see peace in your nation. So, in so I declare peace to your nation this morning. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. You don't have to open it. The blessing of the Lord make rich 
and it add no sorrow. De zegening van de Heer maakt rijk en het uitvoert geen uh, trist bij. The bless, I mean, the gospel of the blessing. De gospel van de zegening. That you just listen to. Die je net hebt beluisterd. If you believe the God, this gospel of the blessing. Als je deze gospel van de zegening. It will make you rich. De, um, um, geloof zal het je rijk maken. If you believe the, the gospel of the blessing, Als je de gospel van de zegening ge, uh, gelooft, that God bless you in the beginning, God heeft in and you invoke it upon your life, en je brengt het op je, je leven, through the fear of the Lord, door de vrees van de Heer, through repentance, door te bekeren, through delighting in the word of God, Amen. Door, uh, u, uh, door vreugde te vinden in het woord van de Heer, the end result, het einde resultaat, the blessing of God the van de in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 we make you rich in every good thing and it will not add sorrow are you sorrowful today invoke the blessing of God upon your life it will terminate sorrow in the long run you will not see those sorrow again Believe the gospel of the kingdom. Preached by Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel of, of the blessing. Preached by Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew chapter 5. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Thank you Father. Thank you Father.